I've got to ask you, I want to take you back because you didn't play any amateur rugby league. None. No. Zero. I said, who's your amateur club? Didn't have one. Yeah. You played football. How did you end up getting into rugby league? It was actually a bit of a weird one. I was at, I was at York College and um, I obviously couldn't drive at that time, so the bus came at 4 p.m. and the lessons finished at 12, so you had four hours to waste. And the rugby team played on a, on a Wednesday at 12, so I just went down there, played played rugby. It was actually a prop to start with. But I used to, um, it went well for me, and the coach was James Ratcliffe, and he said, oh, I'm, a, I'm the coach of York Knights, come down. And then, obviously, didn't have a clue what I was doing, they just put me on the wing. <laughs> and I played there, um, played there for a season, and then I had an injury. And then a guy called Danny Wilson came in, um, and he was a winger as well. And obviously at that level, it's pay as you play, isn't it? And, yeah. and I, was play, I was playing and I'm sure the only reason he did it was just to get me out of the way so he could play. He was um, in the community side of Full FC. He said, oh, I've got a young kid here. Um, like, do you want to have a go in the academy? I think I went on a six-week week trial. Uh, Andy Lass was the coach, who's now the assistant. Uh, that went well, signed for them the next year. But then I went to university um, as well, so I never really intended on becoming a rugby player just kind of happened and it worked out. By the time I'd played um, Super League, I'd played under 30 rugby league games in my wow. in my life and it just happened very fast. And um, so even when I went to Warrington and that, they were like, oh, pendulum. I was like, pendulum? <laughs> <laughs> what is clock out? <laughs> What's this? Um, so they have to talk me through it all the, all the time and f finally now... Um, You're getting it. Slightly. 